Um, a man should be responsible because from a biblical standpoint, that is a man's responsibility to lead. Um, it's uh, the man's role in society and raising a family, leading his household is ordained by God. And the more that we can remember that, the better off our communities are going to be. And the state that we're in right now, uh, it's it's the absence of responsible men and some of the other challenges that, you know, of course, I don't want to go too far into that, but that's one of the, the reasons is I don't think that men clearly understand their roles uh, in being responsible, even though we're wounded. Because even those of us who are doing this work, uh, whether it be from an organizational standpoint or an individual standpoint, we're doing it because we carry our own wounds in, in the process. And for me, um, being raised by a single mother, uh, my father died when I was five. She was very clear that I can teach you to be loving, I can teach you to be to be empathetic, I can teach you to be responsible, but in terms of that rites of passage for you to understand what your role is in society, you're gonna need to connect with men to help you get to that point. So that's, that's what it is for me. Keeping their word, keeping their word. Uh, it's, it's, because even when I think about it from a professional standpoint or a personal standpoint, if you say you're gonna do something, just do it. You know, our young people are crying out in ways that we're not recognizing. And what they're seeing, actually what they're hearing is a lot of talk. You know, so beyond the talk, when you say keep your word, beyond the talking is the actual action to do the work. So I think it's keeping your word. Starting a family, uh, getting married, having a daughter, uh, understanding those responsibilities, and even understanding the fear behind it. You know, for, like as I said before, not seeing uh, my father and mother work things out because my father passed when I was young was very scary when I got married. Um, and then to be married to someone who was a product of divorce, the key thing is that we knew in order to take that step, we had to seek help, which is why you know, this is not a commercial for premarital counseling, but the reality is, is it's a, it was a tremendous responsibility. And because we sought counsel and preparation, when we hit those bumps in the road, we were able to deal with it. Um, and then uh, my daughter is going on four years old next month. That is, it's, it's a toss up. Well, she wouldn't be there if it weren't for my wife, but in terms of being a father, I mean, that's just, what she wants, what she needs from me is different than what she needs from my wife. When it comes to security, she's looking for a man. And I think that's what all of our young girls need, you know? And then the boys need to see how we, how we treat the woman in society and then everything comes from that. Let's 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 take it from, let's take a, a financial term, the ROI. We talk about return on investment. There's either two ways you can impact mentoring. You're either gonna invest in a child or you're gonna ignore them. Whichever whatever choice you choose, there's gonna be a return on it. And right now we're we're seeing the return on ignoring our young people. So you don't have to necessarily have all the answers. You just have to have a willing heart and then allow yourself to be built up by working with uh, credible organizations to help you build your capacity to serve. We don't know all the answers, but there are tons of people, when I think from a personal standpoint, you know, working with, you know, brothers in the realm of, uh, of responsible fatherhood and, and just our connection, I'm learning from my peers in the process. So I don't need to have all the answers, I just need to know the right people. And uh, George Fraser, he says it best, you know, Average people look for work, above average people build their network. So get in, connect with people, ask for help. We're not traditionally taught to reach out and ask for help. You know, young boys, it's, it's actually funny if you watch two little kids the same age, opposite sex, if the little boy falls, rough it up, don't cry. The little girl falls, she gets totally pampered. You know, and, and the challenge is that we do want our men to be rough and tumble, but we're just as delicate as anybody else. And if you're talking about teaching a young person to be responsible and lead, you gotta teach that young person empathy. It is powerful for uh, a young man to see a man cry, you know? 
And we have to be able to release those emotions because emotion is motion. You know, and the fact that I can feel emotional about seeing a young person die in the community because people are ignoring that prompts me to act on it. So my emotions lead to my motion to get involved in certain communities.